Welcome to All About Jesus, Our Lord Ministry. My name is Ulo Obadel. You can please visit us on our website, www.allaboutjesusourlord.com. You can also visit us on our YouTube channel on Facebook. We are Bible-based ministry, emphasizing on the fullness and completeness of the Bible, reaching the world with the Word of God, and also preparing for the coming of our Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. It is our goal to emphasize on the second coming of our Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, spreading the good news to everyone that we may say. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. John 3, 16 and 17. My brothers and my sisters, I encourage you to study the word of God on your own. In Jeremiah 29, verse 13, it says, And you will seek me and find me, when you search for me with all your hearts. So I encourage you to search for God by studying his word day by day and get closer to your creator. And also he said that if we search for him, he will also reward us. So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, to study the word of God daily so you can be able to get closer to your creator. So you can have that relationship with Christ one on one. So I encourage you to study the word on your own. We're going to be talking today about false prophets. False prophets, my brothers and my sisters, they are everywhere. When Jesus was telling us concerning false prophets, he was telling us for us to look out, for us to watch, that by their fruits we will know them. But my brothers and my sisters, if we are not studying the word of God on our own, how are we going to know them? It will be difficult for us to know them because we don't have the word. But if we have the word of God, we, they can be easily spotted. So, But if you're not studying the word of God, it's very, very difficult for you to know them. So I encourage you to study the word of God for your own. It's very, very important. So false prophets are souls manipulators. They manipulate us. They steal our soul because they have already signed a contract with the devil. All these churches all over the world, not just here in America, all over, they are plundering the word of God, the word of eternal life. They're stealing it from people, stealing it from the children of God because they know that we are ignorant, because they know that we ourselves, we are not studying the word of God. So when you go to church, the pastor will be preaching and they will be telling jokes and everybody will be laughing and clapping their hands. Why? Because they want to distract you. They want to distract us so that we will not know that they are luring us into, uh, into, into hell. So I encourage you to study the word of God. It is very, very important. They are hindering the precious life. They are hindering our soul. And they are taking us away from internal life. They are hindering our soul so that we will not enter the kingdom of God. That is what they are doing. And they know exactly what they are doing. Because they have already, they are working for, for sister. They are working for devil. So what they are doing is trying to lure people into hell like them. So my brothers and my sisters, I encourage you to study the word of God because they have bad agenda and they have no fear of God. But it's very, very difficult for us to recognize that if we don't have that discernment of spirit, if we're not studying the word of God, we just be thinking that we are serving God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. But not knowing that you've been deceived, so my brothers and my sisters, I encourage you all to study the word of God. It is so important. Let us not be ignorant. Study the word. Even though you decide to go to a church, when you come back home, study the word and see 
if whatever they said, if it is so or not, study it on your own is very important. Because salvation is a personal matter. Salvation, you have to work your own salvation by yourself. No one is going to work it for you. It's a personal race. So I encourage you to study the word on your own. Let us look at the book of Matthew 7. So we read from 15 to 27. And I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. So let us read Matthew 7 verse 15. Jesus Christ our Lord is saying here, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. They are pretenders. They come to you as if they are really preaching the word of God. No, they are trying to manipulate people to steal their virtue, to take them to hell. Verse 16 says, You will know them by their fruits. But if you don't study the word of God, how are you going to be able to know them? But when you study the word of God every day, it will be so easy for you to detect them. You will be like, yes, this is one of them. But they are everywhere. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. This is what our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is saying. He says that every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down into the fire, will be cut down and thrown into the fire. Verse 20, Therefore, by their fruits you will know death. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. See what Jesus Christ is telling us here. That is why I say that salvation is the personal matter, is the personal race. Jesus is saying here that is saying here that not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. If you personally, if you yourself do the will of his Father, of our Father in heaven, he said, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Therefore, Jesus Christ is giving us advice here. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine, so our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is giving us advice. He said, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does death, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the waves blew and beat on that house. And it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. So Jesus Christ is the same, we should listen to his saying. Verse 26 says, But everyone who hears this saying of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. So this is what Jesus Christ is telling us here concerning false prophets. And when he was telling us these false prophets, it's, they are not outside, they are inside the church. That's where they are. So, all of you guys that are going to churches here and there, Jesus Christ is telling us that they are inside the churches. And they're not going to write it in their forehead. 
So you have to examine the church that you are going to because they are there to manipulate people. They are there to steal people's virtues. They are there to send you to hell. They have no fear of God, but they pretend that they are serving God, but they are not. They are serving Satan, the devil. When they are preaching, you think they are preaching the word of God because they have turned themselves like an angel of light, just like their father, the devil. All he does is to deceive. So they're looking for souls that will be destroyed. So that is the reason why Jesus Christ was saying that at the end of age, Satan and these false prophets, that they would put them in the lake of fire because they, they are doing a lot of damages. So we are in the end times now, my brothers and my sisters. So we have to be vigilant. We Christians, born again Christians, we have to be vigilant because they are trying to steal the souls of the children of God. They are trying to send a lot of people to hell because they are already in there. So they're looking for more souls that they will destroy. So I encourage you to study the word of God, read the scriptures every day and get closer to your creator and have that relationships with Christ. Because if you do so, it will be easy for you to, to, to spot a, a false prophet. But if you are not studying the word of God, they will know, they will just take you as one of those that are ignorant and they will do whatever they will do with us. So I encourage you to study the word of God. Matthew 24, verse 24 and 25. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you before plant, our Lord, our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, He's warning us in advance. He's telling us beforehand that even the very elect will be deceived. So that will tell you how evil they are because they know how to manipulate people. And they know that a lot of the children of God are ignorant, that they don't study the, 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 the Bible, they know that. So they're using that as an advantage to send a lot of children of God to hell. So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, to study the word. Jesus Christ here is warning us beforehand. He said he, he is warning us so that we will know that even the very elect will be deceived. You will think you are serving God. You will think you are going to a congregation where they are serving the Most High. But because those pastors and prophets and apostles, they give themselves all kinds of names, then you will think they, they are sent by God, but they are agent of Satan. Because Satan, all he does is to plant people all over. Plant people in your churches, plant people in your schools, in your homes, in your businesses, everywhere. Because it's looking for souls to destroy. Because you guys know how Satan hates the children of God. So he's looking for different ways to, to do destruction. And he, he knows that his times are, his time are very short. So he's doing destruction all over. So Satan has crawled into the church to destroy the children of God. And when they crawl into this church, who did they go to first? The pastors. Because it's the pastors that are going to be preaching to the, to the congregation. And when the pastor is preaching his nonsense to the congregation, they know how to manipulate the minds of, 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 of the children of God that do not study the word of God. So I encourage you everywhere, anyone that is, that is watching me, for your own good, study the word of God. For your own salvation, study the word of God. So that you yourself can be able to teach others. You yourself can be able to tell others to study the word of God. You yourself can be able to tell your own household to study the word of God. So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, to study the word of God. We're going to be looking at 2 Corinthians 11, verse 13. It says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, 
transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transformed himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if these ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. This is what is telling us here in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 13 to 15. They have transformed themselves into the ministers of righteousness while they are working for the devil secretly because they want to lure souls. So my brothers and my sisters, we have to be vigilant. It's very important for us to be vigilant. So we're going to be looking at Colossians, the book of Colossians, Colossians 2 verse 8 and 10, 8 to 10. It says, Beware, lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principle of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, we are complete in Jesus Christ, who is the head of all principalities and power. So my brothers and my sisters, it's telling us here that we should be, uh, we should be uh, aware of these pastors, you know, teaching the tradition of men. They're not preaching the word of God, twisting it, and teaching the congregation the tradition of men to celebrate things that they're not supposed to celebrate. And ignorant, ig ignorant to it, for a lot of Christians, they don't study the word. So they don't know what is right or what is wrong. So whatever the pastor said, they just take. So the pastor will be making jokes as if you are in a comedy club, making jokes at the same time preaching to you, manipulating your mind. Then you think it is really preaching the word of God. What is twisting it? Before you know, you'll be manipulated all the way. So it is very important for us to study the word of God. So Jesus Christ is warning us all over for us to be aware, for us to know that they will, in the last days they will be everywhere. It's not outside the church, inside the church. So all of you that are you know, going to different churches and you're thinking you are, you are serving God, you there do being a worker. You don't know that you are being a worker for devil because that church is already doomed. So we have to be vigilant so that we don't want to enter bull and thinking that we're doing the right thing. So it is so important. They will be following the first prophets. They will be following the apostles. They are thinking they are doing what is right. Why they are luring people to destruction. We're going to be looking at Second Peter 2 from verse 1 to 3. But there were also false prophets among the people even as there would be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even deny the Lord who bought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. So you see what the Bible is telling us here, that there would be false prophets among us. They will creep inside the church, we ignorant today because we are not studying the word of God. We will not know. Verse 2 said, And many will follow their destructive ways. And many, many of the congregations will be following the pastors. They will be following the first prophets. They will be following the apostles. They are thinking they are doing what is right. Why they are luring people to destruction? Because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. Because when you say truth, they, they don't want to listen to truth. You want to listen to, to what is not real, what is not in the Bible. Verse 3 said, By conversiousness, they will exploit you with deceitful words. For a long time, their judgment has not been ideal, and their destruction does not slumber. My brothers and my sisters, a lot of these false prophets they know exactly what they are doing. 
they are evil. They have already sighed with the, with the devil. The devil has already sent them, flattered them to do evil to the children of God. Inside the church. So I want you all to be aware that we are in the last days now. And a lot of these churches out there, all over the world, preaching prosperity gospel. Instead of them teaching you the word of God, so that you will be sound in the doctrine of God. No. They want to teach you how you will make money. They want to teach you how you will, you will build a house. They want to teach you how you will prosper. But the most important thing that they're supposed to teach you, no, they don't want to teach you that. Even though they teach you, they twist it. They don't tell you the truth about it because they don't want you to know. And because they know that you yourself, you are not studying the word. So nobody asks you not to study the word. If you go to a church and say, okay, you want to listen to the pastor. What is wrong with you that you cannot go home and study the word on your own to see if it's so or not? So my brothers and my sisters, let us not just be depending on these false prophets, pastors, deceiving all the children of God all over. It's not in one place, it's all over the world. So I encourage you all to study the word of God on your own. Because false prophets are everywhere, all over. We're going to be looking at First John. First John 4, verse 1. It says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Because they keep warning us, we are in the last day, and the false prophets, they are here to lure the children of God to hell. They want to take the soul of man to hell. They have no fear of God. They pretend. They are big pretenders. They pretend to you as if they are serving God. They will preach this philosophy of men to you. They will be cracking jokes to deviate you from the truth. So it is very important that we study the word for us to be vigilant, for us to ask our Father in heaven to give us that discernment of spirit, so we can be able to know where we are going to worship. If you choose to go to anywhere to worship, for you to know if that, that congregation you are going to, is it a place where they are preaching the real word of God? It is very important. So let us re-examine ourselves. Let us re-examine the church that we go to. It is very important. And let us keep all the commandments of God. The commandment that he gave us, let us keep them all. So the churches, all these churches deceiving us, they have been deceiving us for time. And I know that in a lot of churches, they don't observe the Sabbath day. God said we should remember the Sabbath day. And we Christians, we ignore it. Because they have told us that, oh no, Sunday is the best day to worship God. But God said we should take that Sabbath for rest. Do we do it? They don't do it. A lot of Christians don't do it. And we still go to church, and the pastor will not preach about that. So why are they hiding it from Christians to observe the Sabbath day? Is that not God's law? So do we have to take nine commandments and forget the, the other one? Why? Jesus himself have told us we have to obey all. So let us re-examine ourselves, my brothers and my sisters. This is very important. Let us also look at 2 John 1 verse 9. It says, whoever transgresses 
and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ, does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. You see this here, my brothers and my sisters. So all these pastors everywhere that are not teaching us the way that Jesus Christ said in the Bible, they said we should know that that is not the doctrine of God. That is the doctrine of Satan. But in order for us to know, we ourselves have to read and study the word of God on our own. Do not follow the philosophy of men. We're going to be looking at Jeremiah 14, verse 13 and verse 14. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophet said to them, You shall not see the sword, nor shall you have found, but I will give you a short peace in this place. And the Lord said to me, This is Jeremiah talking. Verse 14 said, And the Lord said to me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I have not sent them, commanded them, nor spoken to them. They prophesy to you a false vision, divination, a worthless thing, and the deceits of the hearts. So God is telling us here, selling Jeremiah, telling the people that a lot of these prophets, that they are just prophesying on their own, that himself did not send them. So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, for us to set the word of God and be able to ask for that discernment of spirits so that we can be able to recognize them. Because Jesus said, we shall know them by their fruits. But we have to study the word of God. We have to be aligned with the word of God so that we can be able to recognize them when we see them. But if we are not aligned with the Bible, with the word of God, we will miss them. Then in that way, we hear our soul to help ignorantly. So I advise you, my brothers and my sisters, to study the word on your own. We're going to be looking at Jeremiah 23, verse 16. It says, Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They make you worthless. They speak a vision of their own parts, not from the mouth of the Lord. So my brothers and my sisters, it is written here that we should be very careful because a lot of all these prophets out there, our Father in heaven did not send them. They are just doing the work of Satan. They are working for Satan. Because Satan had given them power, evil power to do evil, Evil power to cast out different kind of things from people. Evil power to, to, to see vision for you. I tell you your, your heart's address. I tell you what happened to your family. Satan gave them that evil power to, to be saying all kind of nonsense. So I encourage you to study the word on your own. Those of you that is looking for different kind of miracles. Why are you going to different places to look for miracles? The best bet for you is to study the word of God on your own. Pray to God. Be, do not do not relate in prayer. Pray to God whatever you are looking for, whatever you need. You ask your heavenly Father. He will give it to you. You have to keep on praying and keep on praying. Do not stay at the grave for a long time. No. Pray and believe. Pray and have that faith that our Father, the one that we are praying to, will do it for you. Because if you pray and you don't have the faith, you don't have the belief, what is the point of your prayer? But when you pray and you have that belief that it will come, it will come, whatever it is. So I advise you all to study the Word of God, not to be running after different uh, pastors or different prophets because you want them to see vision for you. Because you want miracles, then you lure your soul into darkness because you're looking for miracles. 
You don't even know what kind of power, the spirit that they are using to do the miracles. So let us not be ignorant. My brothers and my sisters, let us not be ignorant. Hosea 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I also reject you from being priests for me because you have forgotten the law of your God. I also will forget your children. So my brothers and my sisters, they are telling us that we, the children of God, we are destroyed for lack of knowledge because he said we rejected knowledge. The time that we're supposed to be studying the word of God for us to search for him, to know him, because he said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then the rest will be added to you. That is what the Bible said. So let us sing the word of God first. Because the word of God is what will guide us in every other thing that we do. Because without the word of God, my brothers and my sisters, there will be so many errors in our lives. But if we study the word of God, that word that we have studied will guide us. It will show us. And as we read in the word of God, we get it closer to God. Then God will continue to reveal things to us. The Holy Spirit that will dwell in us will be showing us things. So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, let us all be vigilant. False prophets are everywhere. Everywhere. I'm not here to discourage you from going to church, but I'm here to encourage you to study the Word of God, to ask God for that discernment of spirit. So when you see them, you will, you will be able to recognize them. As a matter of fact, they are everywhere. The, everywhere you go, false prophet, every church is you go. The ones that are not false, you very few. Very, very few. Remember what Jesus said. Narrow is the gate. Narrow is the way to everlasting life. But broad is the way that leads you to destruction. That is why now you see false prophets everywhere. All these churches you see, they all young people to hell. So I encourage you, I'm not here to discourage you from going to, to, to your church. If you want to go to the church you are going to, you can go. But study the word for your own goodness. So that you yourself will be able to recognize when you see a false prophet. They are everywhere. I'm not the one saying it is, it's, it's in the Bible. They have crawled into the church. They're not outside, they crawl into the church because they want to kneel the children of God to hell. And they will use you with their, with their, with their, the, the word philosophy. They will be cracking jokes as if you are at the comedy club because they want to manipulate your minds. They want to lure you into darkness. So they are taking advantage of our ignorance. So I am encouraging you to study the word. It is very important, my brothers and my sisters. We're going to be looking at Matthew 7, verse 13. He said, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. So my brothers and my sisters, our Lord, our Savior, Yeshua Hamashiach, is telling us here that wide is the gate to destruction. Narrow is the gate, though it is difficult, but that is the way. So do not follow people because they are doing it. Do not say, okay, they are doing it, I want to do it. Do not follow the crowd. Do what is right in the sight of your maker. Do what is right in the sight of your creator, no matter the cost. Because your internal life is more important 
So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, to study the word of God on your own. So that you'll be able to discern wherever you are, in your church, in your surroundings, when you have that word of God with you, you will be able to discern when you ask God to give you that discernment of spirit. So I encourage you to study the word of God on your own. It's very, very important. John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My brothers and my sisters, I, Jesus Christ is telling us here that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. So I encourage you all to study the word of God on your own. You don't want to be going to church every day, every Sunday, every Wednesday, and you are not growing spiritually. It is very important for us, the children of God, to obey all these commandments, for us to study his words, for us to do what he wants us to do. Because at the end of this age, we all will give accounts concerning how we lived our life. He will ask us individually, what did we do with the time that he gave us on earth? So we have to give account of how we lived our life here. So my brothers and my sisters, do not take it lightly. Because you are either for God or you are for devil. We cannot be for both. If you are not for for God, that means you are for the dead. Oh. So I encourage you to study the word. It is so important for us to know the word of God. So we're going to read also uh, John 14, verse 15. It says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Our Lord, our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, is telling us, that if we love him, we should keep his commandments. Commandments, that means all. It is a keep commandments. There's an S at the end of it. All. So we're not going to do some and don't do the other. We have to do all. So as the children of God, let us keep his commandments. And when you have the Holy Spirit in you, the Holy Spirit himself will confront you and tell you that what you are doing is not right. Then you straighten your way. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, you keep on doing whatever you want to do, thinking it's right. But when the Spirit of God is in you, before you even do that bad thing, you will know that what you are doing is not good. You're not going to do it. So I encourage you to study the Word of God. And I also encourage you to give your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth sincerely and, and, and obey all his commandments. Observe everything that he asks us to observe. And let us all be able to play our parts here on earth because we all will give an account at the end of the age. So I'm going to be concluded with the book of John 14, verse 16. Jesus Christ says, And I will pray the Father, and I will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you, and will feed in you. So my brothers and my sisters, when you receive Christ as your personal Savior, your Lord, when you receive him, you study his words, you get to know him, you keep all his commandments, the spirit of truth, the spirit that he, he promised us that he would bring, he said he would bring another helper to come and help us. Because now we are in dangerous times. 
where the last days and a lot of things are happening, without the Holy Spirit, my brothers and my sisters, it will be very difficult for believers to be able to go from one day to the next. But when we have the Spirit of God in us, that Spirit of God is the one that will help us in all things. So it is very important for us to, to serve our Creator, to obey all His commandments. Let us be able to do His will. So at the end of the age, He will say, Welcome, my good and faithful servant. We want to be on His right side. We don't want to be like the, like the goats that He put on the left side that we go to, to hell, to the lake of fire. So I call, I I encourage you all to study His words. Give give your life to our Lord and our Savior, the Yeshua Hamashiach. Sincerely, and I encourage you to study the Word so that you can be able yourself to be able to recognize all these false prophets that are everywhere. They are everywhere, everywhere. Do not look at the art art word of man. No. It is God that sees the heart of man. But Jesus Christ said, by their fruits, you will know them. So if you ask God for that discernment, he will give it to you, then you will be able to recognize it. They are everywhere, everywhere you go, because they are doing things that are not, they, things that are contrary to, to God. They are doing things that is not in the Bible. They are doing things that God don't want them to do. But because we, the children of God, we are not reading the Bible, we are not studying the Word, so they use that, that as an advantage. So they know that we are ignorant. So I encourage you to study the Word of God so that you will not be ignorant, so that your soul will not be lured to hell because they are, they are manipulating people, stealing people's souls to hell. False prophets, they are everywhere. So I encourage you, my brothers and my sisters, to study the word of God on your own so that you'll be able to recognize the false prophets. They are all over, all over the world. Because that's what the Bible said. All the passages that we read today concerning false prophets, they will creep in into the churches. We're not talking of outside, inside the church. Why? Because they want to lure the children of God to hell. And when they're crawling, they, they come to the top, the pastors, the prophets, giving you fake prophecies, telling you all kinds of things. And you think it is right. And a lot of you that are supporting a lot of pastors, oh, that pastor is a man of God. He's so good. Oh, if you say anything bad of him, I will fight you. My brothers and my sisters, you cannot fight for no one. Fight for yourself. Your own salvation is on the line. Because you don't know that pastor that you are fighting for. You don't know who he is serving. You don't know the cult that he belongs to. You don't know what they are doing behind the congregation. You don't know how many people in that congregation are like him. A lot of things are happening in the churches. So I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, do not say you want to swear for one pastor. Or do not say, oh, that pastor, I can tell you, is the man of God. Let God be the one to judge when the day comes. When that day comes. Because the good and the bad, we are all living together. But when that day comes at the end of age, Jesus said he will separate it, the, the, the weight from the chairs. He will separate them. Then, then we see who is who at that time. So do not swear for nobody. Do not say, oh, this is really a mark of God. You have no idea what they are doing. If God opens your eyes, he is the one that will come and reveal things to you. Even the pastors that you don't even know. You don't even know they are pastors. But Holy Spirit will tell you that that pastor right there, I did not say anything. So if you study your word and give your life to, to, to our, our Lord, our Savior, 
All these things that I'm telling you, it will come to pass in your own life. People that you don't even know, the Holy Spirit will minister to you and tell you who they are. So that is the God that we serve. He is the one that knows secret things. He is the one that will direct our steps. So I encourage you to study the word and get closer to your creator. Because when you get closer to him, he will start revealing things to you. And the Holy Spirit in us is the one that is helping us day by day in everything that we do. So it is very important, my brothers and my sisters, for us to study the word of God. Because a lot of all these false prophets are looking for the children of God to destroy. If you are not like them, a lot of the congregations, they've, they've already initiated a lot of them to be like them. So when you go to a congregation and you are like an outsider and they try to initiate you one way or the other, probably our Father is not letting them to do that to you. But instead of you to listen, what God is telling you, you sit down there and say, no, I want to be here. Before you know it, you either be a sacrifice for them or you will be like them. So I encourage you to be vigilant. Be vigilant. It's very important. The children of God, I'm telling you all over, there are false prophets everywhere, everywhere you go. Because a lot of them will say, oh, they said, do not forsake the gathering together. Do not forsake the gathering of the Lord together. So because of that, you near your soul to hell. Because now the false prophets are everywhere discouraging people indirectly, man manipulating people's souls, manipulating the children of God, then you ignorantly, you enter the hole with them. So, but if you study the word of God, and our Father in heaven knows that you are searching for him, that this child of mine is searching for me, you think God will let them do anything to you? No, because he knows that you are his. But if you just go and mind about your business, doing your own thing, don't care if you have a creator, you don't care if you have a maker, you're just doing your thing and go. So when temptation comes, who is going to help you there? When tribulation comes in your life, who is going to help you? Because you're taking material things first in your life. So where tribulation comes, who is going to be there for you? My brothers and my sisters, it is important for us to put the word of God first in our life. Then the rest will follow. Because you will be thinking that when tribulation comes, your pastor is going to be dead. Or your friends or your co-worker are going to be dead. Or somebody you think in your family is going to be dead. It's not like that. You don't want to go through that situation for you to learn. Hold the word of God fast. Because that word of God is, the, is what will take you through any tribulation. So it is very important for us to study the word of God on our own. Study it on your own is very important. I keep stressing this. Study the word of God on your own. It's for your own good. So if you go to churches that are not advising you to study the word of God, you run away from there because they don't want you to find out the truth. Do not say you are busy. The word of God comes forth first in your life. The word of God comes first in your life. Because when you pour this one first, the rest will be added to you. So my brothers and my sisters, I thank you all for listening to me today. And I hope that we will stay the king. Thank you. God bless. Please subscribe, like, and press the notification button so that anytime we have a new video, you will be updated. Thank you so much for listening to me. God bless.